first of all, when a woman has been diagnosed as uh, uh, she, that she is having a, a cancer, then so many things goes into her mind. So when we concentrate on the sexual functions, she thinks, okay, after this treatment, I, I may be getting treatment, but after this treatment, am I good enough for my husband? Am I good enough for my partner? Whether it is communicable, whether my husband will think that after having sexual relationship with me, whether it will be transferred to him or not, these things goes into her psychological uh, status. Good evening, once again. Uh, many thanks for, uh, to the organizers for giving me a chance to be a part of such an uh, important event. Actually, I'm from Imphal. At the moment, Manipur is burning. My house is burning. My neighbors are burning. People are dying. But an invite from Dr. Azayan is an invite, and I have made a commitment. And from that three onwards, there was no internet data, no connectivity. Everything has been shut down. Because uh, <laughs> my this one, uh, elegant immigrants from Burma, they are trying to burn down half of Manipur. Anyway, so I did not have any connection. I did not have any distinct with Dr. Azayan also, and with my panel also, but I managed to fly out from Imphal because I had made a commitment to Dr. Azayan that I will be here. Thank you so much. Today's topic, my topic is aesthetic gynecology and gynecological cancer. Aesthetic gynecology, I told you from that two onwards, Imphal totally shut down. I did not even know what topic has been assigned to me. I did not have time. I mean, there was no connectivity. Not even the normal call was allowed. So aesthetic gynecology is a set of procedures which is done to enhance the look, functionality, and also to anatomically align the external and internal genitalia. Uh, gynecological cancer and a cosmetic gynecology are two vast topics. As a cosmetic gynecologist, I will concentrate more on the cosmetic gynecology. Gynecological cancers, I'll be just touching few points. What are the gynecological cancers? Cervical, ovarian, uterine, vaginal, and vulva. And breast cancer, even though it is not included under gynecological cancer, it, gives, uh, it comes under the banner of uh, giving sexual problems to the lady. Treatment, surgery, chemotherapy, and radiation. I have highlighted surgery and the radiation because surgery gives anatomical, uh, this one, dysmorphism that uh, affects anatomical alignment of the vulva external genitalia. And radiation also gives lots of fibrosis, which uh, I've been asked to shorten my talk, Dr. By, uh, Dr. Azayan, so I'll be just going a little fast. So, and even uh, radio, this one, our radiation gives lots of problems to the woman's sexuality. Impact on the sexual function, first I will go to psychological. First of all, when a woman has been diagnosed as uh, uh, she, that she is having a, a cancer, then so many things goes into her mind. So when we concentrate on the sexual functions, she thinks, okay, after this treatment, I, I may be getting treatment, but after this treatment, am I good enough for my husband? Am I good enough for my partner? Whether it is communicable, whether my husband will think that after having sexual relationship with me, whether it will be transferred to him or not, these things goes into her psychological uh, status. She also feels that she is not uh, good enough, or she also feels that she is not. Can you please open this? She she is not whole. She says, "I am half. I am not the complete whole human being." Anatomical. Anatomical, because of the surgery, there are many anatomical changes. Functional, maybe because of the surgery and also maybe because of the radiation therapy, the vaginal area, even though some of the cancers, even though we do not do surgical radi radical surgery, because of the radiation therapy, it undergoes fibrosis and many other changes. 
use of the aesthetic gynecology in cancer patients, reconstruction of the vulva, EVD for dryness and the fibrosis, PRP, orgasmic, and we need to tackle on the orgasmic disorders. Anorgasm and hyperorgasm is a this one, um, uh, problem with uh, post uh, mm, cancer patients and, mm, come across time and again. Enhancing the look, shape, and the size of the vulva, we do something called designer vagina, clitoral hoodectomy that is for the enhancement of the sexual functions. We give shorts and also PRP for hair because loss of hair, loss of hair uh, after chemotherapy and other uh, radiation therapy is a very important part of the treatment for cancer. Now I am from, I have an academy, Savana Simitas Academy. We, I use all these modalities for the rejuvenation, for the cosmetic uh, procedures. History started with 1st century AD, thereby he started with the, this one, ligation of the clitoris, because they used to feel that the hypertrophic clitoris may be giving more sexual pleasure, the lady will be having more uh, sexual desire. Third one, Trotula, is the first one who had done episiotomy. Uh, she is the first one who had performed cosmetic gynecology in the present distinct. Now, aesthetic gynecology, we use energy-based devices, and for designer vagina, we use many surgical procedures, we use shorts, we use the threads, we use fillers, chemical pills, mesotherapy, we use everything. Carboxytherapy, altherapy. Radio frequency, RF energy. RF is a part of electromagnetic spectrum where its frequency range depends on the industry. In uh, this one, uh, medicine, we use 100 kilohertz to 6 megahertz. Optimal RF is 1 megahertz. Optimum RH is very, very important because at lower frequency, less than 100 kilohertz, there is just enough stimulation. And higher frequency, more than 6 megahertz, there is more radiation and less localized RF. Mechanism of RF therapy, electrical current conducted by the tissue increases ion collision, kinetic energy is transformed to thermal energy. Heat causes control damage to the skin uh, tissue. The damage triggered natural healing mechanism, tissue renewal, collagen, elastic hair renewal, and regeneration and resulting in the skin tightening. RF energy, we have bipolar, monopolar. This is the bipolar handpiece. This is the monopolar handpiece. <laughs> Laser, the light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation. Principles of laser. This we will not go into detail. Okay. Is lasing medium? Okay. Laser, what is an optical energy? It's an electromagnetic wave of photons that carry energy. Lasing medium, we must have heard of this argon la laser, erbium laser, liquid laser. Its name is given by the source of the laser. This is spectrum and this is the wavelength of the laser. Diode laser, because I'm coming to diode laser because for post-cancer treatment, other type of laser, uh, ablative laser, we, in laser we can, in terms of cosmetic gynecology and in laser, we can have ablative laser and non-ablative laser. So in non-ablative lasers, do not have much use in post-cancer patients. Diode laser, even though it's just a laser, it's working in photothermal laser mucosa interaction. So diode we can be used, and I'm using it for post-cancer patients. They are most widely available laser technology and are simple semiconductor devices. And also, it's just a plug in and a use. We do not have to use any other, this one, our uh, mm, online uh, UPS and all that. The advantage is mostly compact device and the plug and the play. These are two main advantages of the diode laser. Diode laser can come with the size of a, such a simple, uh, such a small typewriter box. 
Indications, vaginal while tightening and thickening, remission of dyspareunia, anti-inflammatory, urinary incontinence, improvement, labial wrinkles, reduction, etc. Candidates of uh, for LVR. Women declining estrogen therapy, women with a history of estrogen dependent tumors. Any woman with a history of uh, breast uh, tumors, even though when we do pedigree analysis, and then even though this uh, recent and very, very distant relative also has been found to be uh, this um, our uh, estrogen dependent tumor, please do not give estrogen creams because they will look up and they will say that if anything happens to them, I had a pedigree. This my one of the distant relative had a estrogen dependent tumor. Why you did not find out? Why did you prescribe the estrogen cream or estrogen treatment to me? So these days we are declining estrogen uh, this one cream to even remotely uh, this one even if they had a distant relative who had had estrogen dependent tumor. Pixel CO2 laser we have in laser fractional CO2 fractional and uh, uh, our uh, this one. Um, Pixelated, pixelated and uh, fractionated is uh, more uh, safer. Now platelet-rich plasma, PRP therapy uses injection of a concentration of a patient's own platelets to accelerate the healing of injured tendons, ligaments, and muscle and tissues. That is for the general use. Platelet-rich plasma is used in the aesthetic gynae practice to enhance, to increase the this one blood supply, to give uh, and we use it. I use it and uh, something is known as. Feminine sorts. Feminine sort is given in the clitoral area and all over the vulva for the rejuvenation of the area. Electromagnetic, uh, we have a high frame which is also electromagnetic, high intensity focus electromagnetic uh, waves. Chair we have, it is useful but not that useful. High fu, high intensity focus ultrasound, inducing cellular damage and volume reduction of the target area selectively by means of coagulation by generating instant microtrauma lesions through the accumulation of high frequency ultrasound beams at a specific tissue site without any damage to the epidermal and adjacent tissue. High fu, we need to use judiciously in post cancerous patients. This is the 1470 nm diode. This comes in very useful for post cancerous patients. This is a 1470 nm diode, vaginal rejuvenation. Oh, this is come. This is uh, I will. No, I'm not going to play this. I will. okay. This is the uh, radio frequency. The lady had very very bad. Uh, this one fibrosis and. Uh, I could not even insert the tip of my finger on first uh, sitting. I need to advance it. But I started working with bipolar radio frequency. She was crying. She could not assume have she could not have normal sexual activity. Husband was angry. Husband was about to divorce her, and she came to me. Savana, you have to see her. This one. Uh, medical officer, Savana, you have to do something. I have heard that you are a cosmetic gynecologist and you are using energy-based devices uh, to, I mean, to help women like me. So I was just teasing. I had to use all of my whatever expertise I have to let the, this one um, electrode enter the vaginal uh, canal. This is the first sitting and the third sitting, it entered easily. Also, her vulvovaginal atrophy has been improved. Now, this is another lady with ovarian and cervical cancer. She had taken extensive uh, uh, radiation therapy, not going into the details of the radiation therapy. She had lots of problems, fibrosis, especially in the anal area, in the, uh, the vaginal area, everywhere in the perianal area, she had uh, this thing, um, mm, uh, fibrosis, and she was having very, very bad dyspareunia. Here, I had used monopolar radio frequency because bipolar radio frequency by virtue of it being bipolar it is three electors so it is uh, bigger the handpiece is the uh, the handpiece is bigger so it is difficult to use to the nook and the corner so i had used monopolar rf so you see i'm getting very good response with her okay i use labial thread for the enhancement of the labia 
Okay, vulvar lichen sclerosis, it is a gray arena. I have delved into, for before treating vulvar lichen sclerosis, we need to do biopsy because 0.2 to 5% of the vulvar lichen sclerosis are precancerous lesions. So be very, very careful. We have to take biopsy and only after you are uh, confirm, you're confident that it's not precancerous, then we start treating vulvar lichen sclerosis. Vulvar lichen sclerosis, I'm treating with monopolar radio frequency with fractional uh, this one uh, um, rf and uh